Libras, Libras. All right. Can you look at this? Lots of wands. Lots of major arcanas. Wow. Libras, this is going to be a big month for you. And it's going to be a big month for everybody. Because just astrologically speaking, there's four planets that are going to be retrograde. And so there's, uh, there's kind of major changes or just palpable energies that people are going to be feeling in April. Not particularly related to love or not. Uh, just changes. And plus it's the spring equinox, so we have the beginning of the solar year. So there's just kind of this fresh new energy going on for everybody, okay? You're coming in from March, Libras, with the Nine of Wands, okay? So you're feeling a little bombarded with work and activities, and you may be feeling like you need some downtime, okay? Now, however, your primary energy it's not looking like you're going to be getting this downtime, specifically relating to love. So if you're needing to rest because there's so much going on with work and life and activities, you may be also just very busy with your love life too. Okay, so there's a lot going on and you're going to feel like you need a rest. Now Libras, you are very social, very intellectual. You love being out and about. Um, and so you don't get too, a lot of air, a lot of other air signs, they'll get tired and they kind of need that, that like introverted time to sort their thoughts out. You not so much, you kind of thrive on the socializing. So d d if you're single and dating, dating is going to be, or has been crazy for you, which is good. You've been extremely busy with the dating life. If you're in a committed bond, you've also been busy and you kind of might need some feeling like you need some downtime and it's not really looking like you're going to be getting it. In fact, it looks like your primary energy, the page of wands, it looks like there's going to be more messages. Okay. Some, someone, you may be involved with a fire sign or fiery energy. Someone is adding to that. Okay. Or somebody stepping forward and bringing you messages. You, however, though, this might be an ex coming back, bringing messages. Maybe you're bombarded because there's been a lot of back and forth between you two. And they're, they keep talking to you. But we have the Queen of Swords here. So this is you, Libras. Kind of, kind of throwing down the gauntlet with respect to your love life. You're kind of shutting off emotionally because either you need downtime or you're just done maybe with all this... I'm sensing like shenanigans. So <clears throat> you're kind of putting up your barriers, which is good. It's a strategic move. It's well thought out, well planned. And it, the queen of swords usually makes things work in her benefit. Okay. Cause she's very strategic and intelligent like you are Libras. So you may be kind of shutting off the emotion a little bit, which will most likely if you're involved with a fire sign, it may actually stress them out and infuriate them, but it's also lessons that they kind of need to learn how to manage their, because they get fiery, and when they um, are told no, they're so positive that they think there's still a possibility, so they just keep pushing, pushing, pushing. So you're kind of putting up barriers with respect to your love life this month, and it's, it's going to either bring additional messages to you, or 
you're putting the barriers up because of the messages, okay? And you're going to remain in your strength. You have the Major Arcana card. This is your foundational card for April, okay? Strength. You're standing in your power. You're confident with respect to your love life. You're confident. You're not worried about you putting up barriers or you strategizing a little bit. You're not worried if it's going to have a certain outcome. You're just doing something because you that's what you want. It, that's what you want, okay? You, you don't want so much communication or you... You want X, Y, and Z. So you're standing in your power with that. Okay, and it's actually going to turn out to your benefit because we have the wish card here, crowning your month. So what you do in terms of putting up these boundaries, barriers, standing in your power, okay, essentially kind of overstepping and pushing, stopping this fiery energy it's going to actually cause you to get what you want. Okay. Beautiful. Now the Hierophant reversed is in your future. So this could mean that you're kind of taking a, you're taking an approach to love or with this person that is not traditional. Okay. Maybe you calling the shot is something that you normally don't like to do because you like them to be kind of in the masculine energy and the one planning. Even if you're a guy listening to this, you like them to be the ones to do stuff, but you're now kind of calling the shots. And it's an unconventional method for you and it's unconventional for what you normally do and like, but it seems like it's going to be working out for your favor. It may, This could also mean that it hurts the relationship and causes... Um, it to go into a direction of not marriage or not commitment, but the Hierophant is more about convention, okay? Large organizations, plans, um, and, you know, high-level advice and high-level strategy and kind of fitting things into a bigger picture. And when it's reversed, the word I just keep thinking specifically for you with this reading is just, it's unconventional, Okay. It causes emotions though, okay? Even though you might be getting what you want, it's as if almost you're not quite sure if that is the right direction, if, it's, if it was the right move, okay? Even if you get what you want, okay? Even though you're staying in your, standing in your power and even though you get the result you want, this is you internally questioning was that the right move? Okay. But it possibly was. And it's very possible you're involved with the fiery energy because how they view you in the situation is the star card. They, you, by what you did, by what you're doing, is cause, even in this unconventional method, is giving them nothing but hope. Okay? They now are really seeing possibilities. Which could be good or bad, depending on what you're wanting from the relationship. It doesn't cause a new beginning. Okay, so something isn't official, something doesn't end, it just might be emotional. Okay. This is your hope and fears. You're hoping something won't end, or you're fearing something won't end. Okay, that can go two different ways. All right, Libra, that's an interesting card. You're hoping something won't end or you're fearing that it will, or you're fearing it won't end, or you're hoping that it will, okay? That's kind of some food for thought. And that goes directly with this unconventional method. They're remaining ever hopeless, hopeful about it, and you're not sure. Whatever it does do, though, it definitely dampens this kind of a flirty tension that's been going on, it dampens that. Okay. Because essentially you've you've put up barriers and are halting it. Okay. Alright, let's pull some overview cards. What are the overview overall messages that you have for Libras regarding this reading?
and we'll talk to the deck. What are the overall messages that you have for Libras with respect to this reading? Three of Wands. King of Pentacles, the Magician. Another major arcana card. This is really going to be a month, Libras, for you to stand in your power and put up your barriers and, and use that as part of your strategy, okay? And this is, this is that fiery energy, okay? And they are feeling like they're putting everything out into, that they've done everything they can do. They're remaining hopeful. They're bringing messages. They've put a lot of effort into the relationship. And they're, they're, they're remaining hopeful. So they're feeling like, I've done everything I can do. Now I just have to wait. It's going to be up to them now. You. Okay. Libras. And they really are leaving it in your hands. Okay. With this magician card here, they're now feeling like they're going to really be leaving it in your hands. We have the King of Pentacles reversed. This is an interesting card for an overview message because Earth energy, okay? Somebody could be, somebody else could be in the periphery that could be impacting why you're deciding this or why they're pushing so hard. So one, it could be a person, Earth energy, older than you, or two, it could be Kind of that pulling back, not being so generous, okay? Because the King of Pentacles is a very generous person, okay? Lots of success, life success, material success, stability. So whatever is happening here with this being left in your control and them kind of really stepping back, it's as if it's... It's as if thing, something just is put on pause. Okay. No, they're not putting effort. You can. You're not sure if you want to. You're not feeling like you want to be overly generous. Okay. 